not too happy. Xbox One Digital Rights Media, DRM. What do you think about it? Me personally, I've already ordered, already pre-ordered my Xbox One. Long before the reversal for the Xbox, they did a 180. And now they're thinking about doing another 180 back to a 360. That's what it's pretty much going to be. If Microsoft lets its so-called the voice, the customers, dictate what they do, we will just have another Xbox 360. That's pretty much with some streamers, you know, make it look pretty, a different case. And that's what it'll end up being. The original Xbox One, when they first announced it, and the way they announced it, was leading technology trendy it was the new thing but it didn't give everyone what they wanted they people decided what things were good and what were bad one of the biggest comments that i hated the most out of everything was that if they don't change this or they don't do something about this i'm going to buy a ps4 okay how many of you true Xbox fans who are just been Xbox forever will actually go to the PlayStation 4 because something you get mad about. Then you're not a, you're not an Xbox fanboy in the first place. Go to PlayStation. Go to the network where there's only two or three people online at one time. That's why things these these things will make a difference. People are talking about they're gonna go to PlayStation. Who cares? Go. You weren't want an Xbox person in the first place if you were thinking that you were really gonna go and switch up then who cares look at the amounts of people that play online PlayStation Network were giving away PlayStation Network for free you could play online and play against people for free and they still didn't have the amount of people that Xbox had how many people complained about or constantly complained about the sixty dollars that it cost to play to for Xbox Live, sixty dollars a year for Xbox Live. But yet, how many people are on still on Xbox Live? Okay, my point exactly. This video is just to let off some steam and let you know how I'm feeling. Personally, I really don't care. I have mine reserved. Whichever way it comes out, I'll be fine. But I really would prefer the original way that Microsoft intended to put the Xbox One out. That's the way that I want it. Whether it benefits me or not. This is what's happening. It's the new technology. It's not Xbox 360 anymore. So we can't have what we always, what people think that they want. So up here in the top, there'll be a link to a petition. If you're one of the people that want the original features that Xbox One had originally, you can sign this petition. There's 25,000 signatures already. So it pretty much tells me that the people that cried in the beginning about the about the Xbox One weren't even Xbox people. These were PlayStation 4 people or people maybe looking to get into console gaming and they just wanted to be on the bandwagon. Everybody else complaining about so I'm going to complain about it. Because if you can get 25,000 signatures for them to put the, put the features back then obviously there's a lot of Xbox fans out there that were perfectly happy with the way it was. This is Jay from Jay's Texts and Tips. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And for you stupid people, excuse me, shouldn't call people stupid. And for you people that were upset about the Kinect um, always being on, spying on you. How stupid can a person be? Said, said stupid again. Put a piece of tape over it. Put something in front of the sensor. If you're that skeptical, you're that worried about someone always looking in on you or something like that, put a piece of tape over the over the Kinect sensor. Do something. But don't sit there and complain about the Kinect always on. Someone's going to be able to look at me. Come on. Think about it.